was fat than the motherfucker back then too, man. And he faced the biggest shit. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. now, like, you done transformed into a goddamn uh, bodybuilding. I got my 50 cent shit. Yeah, you, know you want man? your 50 cent shit, though, <laughs> I, I couldn't have put it in. Shout out to 50, yeah, my nigga. What a spill too. Did I say thank you? I grant you. Three wishes, cause I be the genie. Niggas is ass out like fat bitches in bikinis. Hey, yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy Lil Cease, aka Caesar Leo. Everything is hard body. You checking out thisis50.com all day, every day. Hard body. I gotta let it out, all I can My boy made me who I was, it was all my man So when he died, it's like they took all my plans All the money, all the cars, and all my friends Did somebody tell you that you was about to die? Like a doctor told you, hey man, you fucked up You need to lose this weight cause you, you got that Nigga, you just look like you don't give a fuck Yeah, doctor, nah, doctor just told me I just wasn't right Like, yo, listen man, you, you young, you short You got too much weight on you it attract high blood pressure, and diabetes, and I have bronchitis. You know, once he, once all that shit start going, right. once niggas, that shit start going through your head, and you actually try to walk up two flights of stairs, and you huffing and puffing, and you only twenty something years old. I was mm. like, listen, I got the, I got to fix this shit. You mm. know what I'm saying? And uh, next thing you know, I just went and got me a little iPod. Somebody got me a gift, it's an iPod for a gift, and then I put that shit on and went to the gym one day, and then I've been going to the gym shit. Mm. Since 06, so about five, six years consistently with the workout shit now. Right. Hard body fitness, man. He, he trying to OD on me right now. That's my other boy. My boy Ray. It's good. He got mm. Definitely seeing 50 story was definitely uplifting to see him get popped nine times. <laughs> come back out, nigga shit all chiseled. Mm. You know what I mean? You come I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how the fuck you <laughs> get in my damn cell. Up, cause that, I ain't never got chiseled. Yeah. Oh. Salute to my nigga for that, because that shit hard. You know yeah. what I mean? But it, it, it just takes a lot of discipline and dedication. And let's talk about the, the movie, Notorious. How did you feel when um, you found out uh, Mark John Jeffries was playing you? <laughs> I was cool with it. What? <laughs> yeah, I had to corrupt him a little bit. Teach yeah. him how to roll the blunt. Oh, so he actually hung around you and everything? Yeah, yeah, did yeah. Did you have any input on picking him? Yeah, 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 I did. I wanted the official person to act, mm. to, to, to play my role, you know what I'm saying? He did a really good job playing 50 Cent also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was your best friend, I want you around all the time, best friend. You know, this dude played 50 Cent too. Played 50 Cent, 50 and Cent name you. in the movie was Young Caesar. Right. You know I was Little Caesar, so, you know, I, I thought that was dope about it. I used to go play basketball with him and his pops at the Reebok gym in the city after the set, so I got a chance to really sit down and really, you know, kick it with him for about two weeks before we shot anything. I rehearsed with him and, and all that. Now, what did you think about Charlie Baltimore not being able to be a part of the movie? I, I definitely felt like she should have played the part, but Charlie didn't want no, she didn't want no parts in the movie. She didn't? Yeah, not well, in the bad way. That's why I didn't. Not, not in the bad way either. She, she, she felt like she only did it big for a year. And she didn't want to try to go out there and take that recognition of being big last girlfriend and then try to just take all the fame and rise from that shit. She was just like, you know what? I want to keep that personal and have my relationship with him. And, I'm gonna keep it that way, you know, all, it's all good. I don't need to have no part in the movie, no input. I got my relationship with Big and I'm gonna keep that. I love her to death for that move, you know what I mean? Wow. I can respect it, man, but at the same time, I think that shit's stupid that I'm out of my fuck is crazy. If I used to take his trash out, I would <laughs> taking the trash out. Like, uh, hold on, that didn't happen that day. I was right there <laughs> taking the nigga trash out. They edited me out of that shit. Hey y'all, I went from Peter Pan to the Pan is Burberry sweats with the tan is Yeah, he was the man, but I'm the man here Now you see what I'm a G4, stand clear Now, after he died and everything, did you did you feel like that Puppet was gonna sign y'all and everything to a deal? Or, and do you ever wonder why he didn't do that? Nah, I never... Uh, y'all ever approached him about it? I approached him mm -hmm. about doing the situation with me. I mean... Maybe I, I didn't think about him signing me because when Big got us signed, he didn't take us to Bad Boy. You know what I'm saying? We, we did our deal with Big Beat Atlantic, which was, uh, Big Beat was Big label. And uh, we did it through Atlantic. Cause Big was just like, yo, listen, it's, it's enough for me dealing with him. I don't even need him dealing with nine other little niggas. You know what I'm saying? Y'all run that nigga all over the place. I'm gonna find y'all situation on my own. That's gonna be my project. All the shit I'm learning for Puff, I'm gonna take that shit with me and, 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 and build my own little empire somewhere else. You know what I mean? So I guess just from him doing that, we never thought about ourselves being signed to Bad Boy. And we didn't have to. We already had that relationship just from 
being with B.I. So when B.I. died, we still did everything with Bad Boy as if we were signed. We, he was trying to work out a situation with Kim, but we wanted him going to Atlantic doing Queen B deal over there. We always had that co-sign. We always had that, that, that big support. It was just like having a big deal. We needed something, but we needed the situation. He was there to hold us down. So I felt as a friend, he should have did more to help us. You know what I mean? Like, if, if, if you see us going the wrong direction, you're supposed to be our peoples, and you saying you got love for us on the strength of B.I., you wouldn't want to see us crumble.